is is Monica Dini. So it's sort of like a you know like a 60s Italian bombshell a little bit. Um, but we wanted it to be a little a little more modern and not retro at all. So we were just sort of playing with the the angle and the shape of the of the liquid liner. Um, and we're excited. We're using um, our new eyeliner stilos um, that are launching in fall 2012. We're using the black, which is called Car uh, I don't even know how to say it, um, but that's what it is. <laughs> Carpates, I guess, or Carpots, I'm not sure. Um, there's actually four colors. There's a beautiful blue, a gray, a brown, and, and of course black. So basically what we're doing is we're, um, you know, typically with, with, with like a liquid eyeliner or a cat eyeliner, you always go from the outer corner of the eye and to give it a little bit more character and make the girl a tiny bit more offbeat, um, we're, we're skipping, we're, we're sort of starting the line right before the out the natural corner. So it gives a little bit more of a lift to the eye and it makes it a little bit, um, it, it makes it feel a little more 60s actually. It makes it feel like that, that sort of quirky Italian, um, that's the shape of the eye. Um, and then for the for the complexion, we're keeping you know the skin very radiant, really really polished, really luminous. So not very much foundation. We're actually using the pure radiant tinted moisturizer um, with a little bit of concealer, a um, lot of moisturizer. So the skin is, is a little bit fresher and dewier, um, very transparent and clean. And and then a lot of volumizing mascara. It's our larger than life volumizing mascara, top and bottom. Um, not a lot of color in the look, except for on the skin, um, just on the on the point of the cheek, um, which is sex appeal. And we're using almost none, you know, right on the point of the cheek, a little bit above the arch of the brow and at the temple, a little bit on the bridge of the nose, a little on the chin. So, so more that more that she looks a little flushed and heated than like cosmetically blushy. And then the lip is um, is a new color, also for fall 2012. Um, called More, and it's one of our velvet gloss pencils. It's this beautiful sort of like cinnamon, dirty, pinky color, and we're, we're really just sort of pressing it on so all the girls have the same lip tone. Um, it's not a strong lip statement. And then, you know, more velvet gloss pencil. And, and then we're adding just a little bit more moisturizer um, right before the girls walk down the runway just on the point of the cheek to sort of follow, you know, the, the exaggerated shape of the eyeliner. We're sort of just adding a little bit more moisturizer, a little bit more sort of grease right here. Um, and possibly a little bit of eye gloss on the eyelid. We're, we're not sure. It may not happen. Uh, some girls might get it, some girls won't. Just to add a little bit of, to catch the light a little bit more when their eyes close or move. So it's pretty classic, I think, really simple, just with that little twist um, and the eyeliner. What is the the finish on the eyeliner? Is it a matte? Is it a little it's, bit? It's pretty. Um, it's 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 sort of like a satin, I think. This one maybe is. Yeah. It's not super glossy. Let me get a new one. And these are, are like just our samples. <laughs> we don't have the real product yet. Yeah, it's sort of like. It dries down sort of flat and opaque. It doesn't stay glossy, but it's not dull by any by any means. So it's really nice. It's easy to use. You can get sort of that perfect perfect shape. Would you call that a peach? Is it just not how it is on me? Yeah, I mean it's sort of like a peachy, like a peachy brown, like a cinnamon sort of color, I guess. Um, it's not it's not a ton of color. But it's definitely it's definitely warmer than than pink. You know, so the lip is um, it's not pale, it's not beige. I think again, if it was too, be too beige or too, um, too pale, it automatically goes super retro. It, it goes super, you know, Brigitte Bardot, and we wanted them to be a little bit like, and quirkier, I think, like a little bit more, um, just a little more unexpected, I think, to do that, that slightly warmer tone. Um, and it looks good on everybody. How does this complement? The clothes are amazing. I mean, the I mean, of course, Naeem's clothes are always so incredible. I mean, it's like, it's exactly what, if you're walking a red carpet, it's exactly what you want to wear always. Um, there's less color in the collection. It's more graphic this season. Um, there's a lot of, um, like, incredible, like, Maasai-type beading in a lot of the clothing, clothing. So it's quite opulent. Um, so I think, you know, the makeup had to follow suit. It needed to be more architectural and graphic and not so much about color. So that's why we sort of went to 
to the whole thing being about the line of the eye. What are you doing with the brows? Just just filling in the girls' brows and brushing them up. So, so it's just to sort of give them a little bit of definition. Um, if the girls have bleached eyebrows, we're giving them a little bit of brow, but not um, we're not making them dark or anything. Again, if the brow becomes too drawn, it makes the eyeliner look too retro. So it's a little bit more masculine, natural, natural brow. Out of all the products you mentioned, which one would be the most versatile that someone could use at home for various... Um, I mean, well, it's all pretty versatile, I think. I mean, a, a, a black eyeliner is so classic. I think, like, everyone should have one. Um, the tinted moisturizer, I, you know, I can't think of anything that's more easy. Yeah, the Pure that we just launched for spring. And you said blush on the you said some on the cheeks, on the chin as well. Um, just yeah, just to give her like a little bit of a flush, so that she just looks you know healthy and not too pale. Were you putting mascara on the lower lashes? Yes, or just on top, top and bottom. Top and bottom. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you very much. Nice.